So what do you think about having cancer? I think that um, having cancer is it's an, it's an interesting experience. It's, um, it's something to do on a Sunday afternoon. It's, it's alright. You get free drugs. Everyone loves drugs. And a bus pass. And bus so, pass is pretty good. Yeah. I don't know why one complains about with cancer, like it's free, you just get to sit around on your ass all day. So your message is that cancer's really good, you get loads of free stuff. Yeah. Don't free worry about it. Yeah. Good. I'd recommend cancer to anyone. It's, it's really... Free. It's particularly good if you're a university student and you're about to sit some exams. It's really convenient to get it just before your exams. Like. Pretty good time. That's a really inspirational speech. I think I'll be up there with uh, Churchill. So, Costanza, how did you feel cancer? Because <laughs> your ability to make facial expressions. Sir, so, bitch, how does me having cancer make you feel? Um, I don't know, it's, it's, uh, it's not ideal. <laughs> Gorkum, Gorkum, lovely Gorkum. Um, who is your favourite person who's got cancer? Well, it must be you. <laughs> I don't have many options. <laughs> I'm out of chinks there now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's alright. Sorry. That's the fun. Cool. Mm. So that's the normal right? <laughs> Oh, it's Modlin Tower. I don't want to be on record saying that breast cancer suffer is a shit. Mrs. Jowett. <laughs> 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 so, um, so much. What do you think about the strikes? It makes you quite angry. I don't think uh, they should be complaining about these patients. Is that because you're really concerned that if I keel over right now and go to hospital, there'll be no one yeah, there to see me? That's, yeah, that's why you asked the question, because I'm really concerned about you. Exactly. Yeah. This has to do with cancer. <laughs> and then, what, is, what has been your personal highlight of Constanza having cancer? Apart from getting rid of me. You, you left the <laughs> I'm gonna add it to my like my montage of the exciting things I do when I go to the hospital. Drive down nice roads. Well, I'm, um, it's, been, it's been a big experience on my face. This cancer. Well, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Oh no! I've run out of faces. Out of this. I've run out of faces. That's fine. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I'm 
about modelling. That's modelling where I used to study before I got cancer. Ah. If you had to have a cancer, Tom, which cancer would you have? I don't really know much about cancer. I've had it for uh, fucking nearly three years. Finger cancer. <laughs> so you just chop it off. I don't think that's a real cancer. So yeah, so what we just do that. Sure. Uh, Shall I say something really deep? Really so, um, cancer's been a, a, a traumatic journey. I've learned so much about myself and others. What else, what else do they say on cancer? Uh, it's really taught me the fragility of life. It, yeah, it's really taught me the fragility. That's, is, that, is that even a word? Probably. Of I don't know. That's, oh, and like, uh, it's made me appreciate, it's made me appreciate others. It's made me Things appreciate like others. It hasn't made me appreciate others. It's made you appreciate yourself. It made me appreciate myself. Extremely cool. Surely, well, there's nothing else to film. <laughs> <laughs>